Hey guys, my name is Kylie Minogue and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this double-sided Pennywise cake. Pennywise has a very sweet, demented side and he also has a very terrifying side. Because I love double-sided cakes, I decided to create both. So let's get started. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my It's Cake that I created to celebrate the first movie. This is a more realistic interpretation of Pennywise. For this cake, I decided to do something that looked more like a toy. A cute toy and an evil toy. You get both. Now to create this cake, I'm using my PVC pipe stand and I'm using almost like the same structure and cakes that I use to create my basic animal shapes, but for the body, I'm just using two four inch round cakes. I wanted him to have a longer body so that I wanted to fool you into thinking that I made a toy. Create his head though, I am using two six inch half dome cakes though. Now I started this cake before I went to the movies and so I had to crumb coat it so that there wouldn't be a crust when I got back. So if you're gonna try to make this, you don't have to put a crumb coat just yet because you're gonna have to do some carving. The first thing I did was carve the body, carved away his belly and just made sure that I accounted for his shoulders and the fact that he's got like really thick thighs. <laughs> Not really, but his costume makes him look like he does. And because one side of this cake is going to be more realistic, I am carving just a little bit so that I can get his eyebrows just right. He's got that huge brow bone that I wanted to incorporate. After I did this, I placed it into the fridge to chill for about 30 minutes, took it out and started to cover it with fondant. I didn't really do a good job, <laughs> to be honest. There is a seam, but it's not really too present because the realistic folds that I incorporate into the terrifying side of Pennywise hide the seam pretty well. And because this is a double-sided cake, you can't see the seam on the side of his head either. Notice the face fondant is pure white and the body fondant's just like a little bit of an off-white. The very cute kawaii side has very little detail on it so that we get a really nice contrast with the opposite side which is extremely detailed. There's so many more layers of fondant on the terrifying side. I tried to incorporate as much of the realistic costume as I could. I thought that Pennywise would be perfect for a double-sided cake. He's so versatile. When he's approaching the kids, he's so kind, so relaxed. He makes them feel sorry for him. And then he turns into this incredibly terrifying monster that is like a lot of my two-faced friends. When I started to carve his face, I tried to make sure that I kind of just miniaturized all of the details that's on actual Pennywise, you know. I made sure that he still had a huge forehead, but then everything else is kind of like smushed just a little bit. So I got his inner mouth going, and then we're gonna give him a ton of teeth. I think Pennywise's teeth are probably my favorite aspect of Pennywise. His front teeth are like mine where they come out a lot. Like that. Like that. But then when he turns into the monster, he's got like four, five, six rows of teeth. I love that. I wanted to make sure I incorporated that into the scarier version. One of my favorite aspects of the scarier version of this cake uh, is adding the gum line to the teeth because I used just a strand of pink fondant and I just pushed it into the top. And it connected all the teeth together, but it doesn't look like a strand of fondant just running through. It actually looks like it's part of the big mouth. 
After that, I gave my terrifying side a rest and started to work on the kawaii cute side. I'm using very thick pieces of fondant to create his hair. Y'all know it. It's super thick. I thought it'd be easier to do it that way. I'm adding a little bit of detail with some soft fondant tools, but not too much because I wanted to keep this as simple as possible. Now for the opposite side, I'm using hard fondant tools and creating very rough, rigid lines. I'm going to change this quite a bit though, so I'm not going to show you too much of it. Because after I finished it, I thought that the hair should be a little bit more manic and chaotic. Then I created the kawaii head. It's super simple. After that, his eyes. Ooh, those eyes. Yeah. Painting them was really fun, super easy. Yeah. I love creating terrifying cakes. I only create two kinds of cakes, really cute or really terrifying. But adding all of the makeup, dirtying up his teeth with some orange and yellow food coloring, it just, it makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> then I started to work on my terrifying hair. It was just too nice looking. Whenever he turns into that monster state, he looks very manic. That's what I wanted. So I took away some of the fondant and I just used more fondant tools to dirty it up, really. After I did that, I painted it, and then I'm painting parts of the kawaii side that you can see. I'm painting them white, so that it kind of fools you into thinking that it's not a part of the cake. After that, it was just time to add all of the detail to Pennywise's costume. The thing that I liked about rolling the fondant out for his arms was I had to make sure that the texture was only on one side of the piece of fondant. So the kawaii side has this very plain piece of fondant on this part and then it gets very dramatic, a lot thinner and a lot more fabric lines to make it look realistic. Same thing goes for his shoes. Now my terrifying side was too clean. I'm gonna dirty them up with a little bit of luster dust. And then I wanted to make my kawaii side a little bit more cute. So I'm adding on some pupils, making sure that he's cross-eyed, and then just adding a little bit of food coloring mixed with some magic sauce to give his eyes a little bit more character. Once I finished that, my double-sided Pennywise cake was complete. This is my favorite cake right now, for probably for the next couple months. I love how I handled all of Pennywise's features. Because I did a more realistic version of Pennywise, I wanted to make sure that this one looked very different. I love the kawaii eyes. And I also like how the white food coloring distracts you from seeing the opposite side of the Pennywise cake. And that grill on the terrifying Pennywise, yo, that looks sick. Like literally sick, like he's got like ginger vices or something. Now I'm curious, which side of this cake do you like better? Do you like the kawaii side or do you like the terrifying side? I can't, I can't choose. I think I did such a good job. I know that you've seen it chapter two already. If you haven't, what are you doing here? What did you think? No spoilers, but it is crazy how well cast this movie is because they look so much like the kids in the first movie. Except Jessica Chastain. Amy Adams looks way more like the actress who played Bev when she was younger than Jessica Chastain. That's my only quip. Although I did like the acting, so who cares? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you very soon. Peace.